All right, for this next scene, we're going to check out our other main character, Alice. She's walking in this really old abandoned house and has a very dirty, ugly floor. And she has her heels on basically through the whole movie. So she's walking on heels in this really old abandoned house. So this one, I kind of wanted to use that method that we used last time, where you just record different tracks for each element. And as you can see here, I ended up recording tons of stuff. I think I recorded one, two, three, four, five different tracks. The last track is a real walker on her take of what it would sound like. So she used a surface that she got in her studio. So it's basically a mix of a walker, and then this track here I believe is some um, effects that I pulled from my library of some really old stuff. And then these three here I believe are Edward. Let's just work on those Edward tracks and see if we can get something sounding cool. Go through. Creaky wood. And I like the lower end on that. That's pretty cool too. So maybe creaky wood. Maybe add some low end to it. Okay, so let's just do a pass of that. Here we go. Okay, definitely some nuance in there that I missed, maybe a scuff. So let's add another track to that and give some more life to that wood. So I'm going to find that creek sweetener. User, um, that was creek sweetener. So I actually have creek on either side there. I'm going to have a healthy little combination there in between them. I'm just going to record another track of squeaks. Okay, so now we have a creek sweetener. We have a wood. I think definitely need some kind of like dirt there for that side. We'll just assume that the whole floor is kind of like that and dirty. So let's see if we can maybe come up with a cool dirt. We already have our hard sound, so maybe There we go. Alright, so let's add that. And we'll have three separate elements that we can work with there. Missed a step there, a little scuffle. All right, so now let's see what we have. Play them all back and... Obviously you need some editing. So what you're gonna do is go through and line all these up. This is definitely more of a process, but if you wanna get some good sounds, 
you know, it's going to take some time to really go in there and, you know, the way I do this is just line up the transients. I'll probably just go in there first and line up this track. So that was early. I'll go in there and line up this track first and have it be sort of a guide for the other two. Well, that wasn't right. That was a little too early. Okay, so let's just assume that we did all that and it's all great. And then we line up the other two. This is very fast. Not gonna be perfect, but it's more just a demonstration. So, you know, you're probably gonna wanna close these gaps if you were doing this for real. So there we go, we have a quickly edited sound. Cool. Doesn't sound too bad. Just how it is. Obviously this needs to be edited. But once it is, you can take each different element and you can mix them together however you see fit. If you want more squeak, you can put that in there. Probably don't need more squeak. Less dirt. But now you have three separate elements to play with. And Edward gives you that ability to make those three things very quickly and easily. Uh, so here's what we came up with all said and done. Here's a little prop that we recorded. We can put some uh, guide track in there and see how it all plays. Door is pretty great. Something about this. It's aspirational. Obviously, it's a very temp mix, but it's definitely coming along. And uh, that's another way that you can use Edward to get a lot more detail for, you know, your characters. All right, thank you. Something about this. It's aspirational. <laughs> 